Greetings, everyone. I'm back. Uh, sorry for the delay and my my lack of updates, rather. I had some personal issues I had to take care of, but everything is fine now, so I'm going to resume my Let's Play. Uh, so, without further ado, Let's Play Tattoos and Macho Man, or Amagon. This is the Japanese version of Amagon. Now, I know I did a run of it already. It's a silent run that I did a long time ago. Um, you can find it on my channel. But as many of you may guess, it is a tool-assisted speedrun, or TAS, but I'm not going to get much into that. If you'd like to find out more, go to TASvideos.org, and you can find out everything you want there. So yeah, let's start playing. Welcome to this crazy island. I wanted to play the Japanese version because it is quite different from the American version in terms of difficulty, um, and some of the, st the story is somewhat the same, really, but the game, the ending is different, which I want to show you the most, if I can get there. Now, Megagon, as you, Megagon, Amagon, as you remember from the American version, is a highly decorated marine that came to this island for whatever reason to investigate it, or to investigate it for whatever reason, rather, and he wound up crash landing somehow. They don't say how, maybe his engine failed or something, and now he's stuck here and trying to get across the island to the other side where there's a sailboat for some reason, and he's going to use it to escape. Now, this island is very, very chaotic and crazy. I mean, just in these first levels alone, all of nature is trying to kill him. There's these killer hornets you just saw me shoot, these pink birds, snakes that shoot at you, jumping mushrooms, crabs in trees, and... Like I said, that's just the first level. It gets even worse as the game progresses on. Now, to make it even more difficult, the Japanese version, your shots, as you know, you can see, they don't go. They only go a certain distance before fading away. Whereas in the American version, they went all the way across the screen. Another thing is your ammo. You start with the same amount of ammo, but the ammo refills you get only give 10 to 20 uh, more ammo instead of 200. Oh great, I just lost the mega key. That was dumb. I was about to explain about it. That was the Mega Key that would have allowed me to transform into Megagon, but now i got to get another one. Which I will. Crown. Megagon, as you remember, is Amagon's alter ego. And he he's bigger, stronger, um, can jump higher. Come on, give me a key. He actually has a life bar, which is very nice. It gets rid of the one-hit thing. If it'll ever give me a damn key... Oh boy, this is bad. Ah! Holy hell! Damn it! For a second there, I thought I was gonna kill him without going into Megagon. It's possible, but it's really hard. Alright, here we go. Now I have a Mega Key so I can transform when I get there. But I'm gonna get a little more points here. When you transform, you don't get any of these score increases you see here, so it's best to wait. Now here's Megagon. Big macho dude, muscular, big strong chin, massive fist of power, and only wears a Speedo. And he just completely pulverizes that lion thing. It was no match for him. And that's the end of the first um, in Zone 1-1, and now we have Zone 2-2, get full power with 70,000 points. As you can see, I have 75,000, so I already have full power. What that message meant was um, you will get full life with Megagon when you get 70,000 points. Megagon is directly connected to your score. For every 5,000 points you get, you will get another notch on your life bar. And at 70,000, you'll have full life. Very nice. Except for getting shot in the back by a stinger doodad thing there. <sighs> I could go Megagon now, but I'm gonna get hit. I'd get hit a lot with them, and would probably not have enough. Uh... Oh, what the hell! It makes it so much easier. I'm gonna try not to get hit because if I lose all my uh, life, he'll revert back to Amagon and be a uh, lunch meat, for lack of a better word. Look at that die. His whole arm is his weapon. He doesn't even have to, you don't even have to hit with the fist. You just hit him uh, you can just hit him with the forearm and they'll die. 
And things go flying when you hit him. That's how strong he is. But you see what I mean about getting hit? I guess I could do a better job, probably. I mean, I'm trying to. <laughs> but it's not that easy. He also has a special uh, energy blast shot thing that he does. But it costs one health to use. So I'm trying to conserve that. I'll save it for the boss. I'll show it to you there. Die. Damn. Crud. Down this five already. What the heck? His fist went right through it. Weird. I love these trees. They're like, fa they're like, it's like they got uh, something phased them, phased it, the top half off. Alright, here we go. Almost to the boss. And I only have two health left. Wow, nice. Another lion and a loincloth. Great. Just freaking great. Oh, shit. Yeah, I thought I saw that was coming. <laughs> Dies, and then the boss screen starts. And I'm a little further now. That's why I didn't really want to go Megagon at the very beginning, but... That part was annoying me, so I said, screw it. But I will get another Mega Key, and I will go Mega Gun at the end. See, there it is. I'm trying to get a little bit more points, so I'll have more than four life here. As they give us ammo, which is very nice. Whoa. I need that. Good. Whoa. That's 10,000 more points. Crowns are very, very nice. Heck with that Mega Gun. I'm far enough. Die. Die, lion guy. Don't know how you're standing on your... F standing up like a human anyway. Or where you got that lion cloth. But my speedo is better. Do 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 Macho, macho, man. And the sky turns black and the lightning flashes and a giant lion head appears. But alas, a few punches from Megagon's mighty fist and he... reverts to a second form. And then a few more punches... And a blast from his thing and another punch, and he is gone. And that's it for the first zone. Challenge next zone. However, we're going to stop right here, and I'll pick that up next time. Well, hope you've been enjoying this, uh, for this update of Tattoos and Macho Man, and I'll see you next time.